Hello, good afternoon to you all out there. This is me, Amechi AK, one of your friends in TBC. And uh, we have always been talking about the same thing. The same thing that we get the community going strong than how it used to be. So I'm very glad to be on with you once again this bright noon day here in Nigeria today being Wednesday, the 12th day of September 2019. And uh, another reason for me to be happy is that when I look at the, 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 the number, the figure climbing, all I can say is just that TBC admin has a magic wand. And we cannot start to do anything. We can't start to say anything without, first of all, acknowledging the great impute of the able admin of TBC. Admin, thank you so much for all your effort. Thank you for coming up with this great opportunity for everybody around the world, especially those who are taking it serious and seeing exactly what it's supposed to be. So it's indeed a great thing to be a Tibetan. And all of us should be happy that you are doing the right thing. So once again, this is me, Amechi AK, and I'm also using this opportunity to reach out to you out there also, people like Enbe Derek, people like uh, Victor uh, Flourish, people like Stephen Coffey, many of you out there. In fact, we are many. If I'm to start naming you one after the other, the whole time we be spent naming you and appreciating all that you are doing. So please, let us continue with the right thing that we are doing in the community very soon and it's already around the corner we already seen it happening we are going to say or talk about all that happened especially this time of around as stories okay but we can only do that if we are strong enough strongly willed to get it going so this afternoon you know we always like we always like to talk about something that we uplift the community and uh, TBC having given us a voice, or giving us voices for us to go about talking about this. We always like to get going and uh, helping ourselves to reason properly and get things the way they should. So folks, as we go on, may I say that it is all about discipline. And that is exactly what the admin of TBC have been teaching us for years now. It's all about discipline. Without that word discipline, be it in our life, anything we are doing, what we are today, without discipline, we are nowhere to be found. And discipline comes in a way that, hey, this is the way this thing must be done, and it has to be followed. We have to be strict. And that strictness is what gets things going. So sometimes you may be lenient, but you cannot take discipline away from what will make one to be what is and become something valuable so let's talk about this there is this mentalities that seem somehow ingrained in us as humans it's, it's, it's imbued that is that word imbued and that is what is that mentality okay it's a play on word though it is the have do be mentality have, do, then become. That is the mentality. And uh, it goes this way. When I have money, I'll be nice to people, and then I'll be happy. It just sounds very simple and easy, just the way I analyze it, when I have money. Then, in, real, in reality, let's watch how this plays out. When I have money, I will start a business. And as my business progress, I will expand my business and make a lot of money, help people to become happy, and then myself, I'm going to be happy because I've helped a lot of people to become happy because my business is thriving. And this, we usually get things wrong in that very aspect, in that very way. So we will become happy as if happiness is a destination. Happiness is never a destination. Happiness is something you feel constantly because of what you do. It's not, hey, I'm running, I'm when you get to that, yeah, I'm happy now. No. Happiness is not a destination. It's a continuous thing. So, 
for us to get this thing clearly understood, those that follow the have do be go on like that only to wake up somewhere in the middle of their life to realize that all along they have been preparing all along with nothing achieved. Hey, when I, I, I have this, I'm going to do this. When I have that. So he, 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 those people who are busy in that deceptive world, they keep on waiting to acquire this. If I have this, then that will happen. If I have that, then the other one will happen. So on and on and on and on like that. Not knowing that they are busy wasting their lives because life is not that way. Okay? They have do bees. They want to go on to do anything. Sorry, they, have, they are waiting to do whatever they can in life. Only when they have that which they are looking for. Hey, that is have do be. So if you don't have it, you're not doing it. But let's turn it the other way around and see which one is better. Be, do, have. Be, do, have is much more better than have, do, be because be, do, have shows that, number one, be the best you can in a situation, in a given situation, be the best you can. Then, do the needful and play the rules. Play the game according to the rules. And at the end of the day, have the satisfaction that comes from having done the best. The satisfaction could be the result of what you achieved. The happiness that resulted there keeps you happy. It could be raising you in the place of work. That's promotion. could be having the ability to do those things you have actually and always wanted to do. So you become something, then do and have that which you've always wanted to have. That is the proper setting of it. Okay? And being sincere with ourselves, all these things boils down to discipline. When we are disciplined, when we discipline ourselves, we get to where we are going. Example of discipline is, is, is everywhere. Take for instance, if we are finding something difficult to do, we need to discipline ourselves. When we go on dieting, we are disciplining ourselves. When we start exercise, we are disciplining ourselves. When we are sick and we need to abstain from certain things, we are disciplining ourselves to achieve the desired rule, the desired whatever we want in our life. So everything calls for discipline. So be, do, have is much, much better than have, do, be. So that having been cleared. And uh, as a teacher, for instance, as a manager, whatever you are today, I want to believe that some measure of disciplines we are all applied and we're involved. And that's the reason why when we want to help others to get uplifted, when we want to help others to get to a standard, we make sure that some measure of discipline has to be applied. If the person is not willing to abide by discipline, you know what usually happens. We can work with those who don't want to be disciplined because we disciplined ourselves to become who we are and what we are today. So that is the pure truth. We cannot deny the fact that discipline is needed in our life. And I said, it is all about discipline. And that's exactly what TDC admin has been teaching us all these years. And we really appreciate that. For those of us who appreciate that, let us continue to appreciate that. So here, I want us to get something very clear. And the earlier we do that, the better for us. I want us to realize one basic truth. And that is, TBC admin is not fooling us. In no way is TBC admin fooling us. TBC admin is being fair with us. But somehow, we are the very ones demanding by all means, all by ourselves. We are demanding. Admin, no, please. No, we don't want you to be this way. No, we want to be fooled. Yes, 
We want to be pampered. We want to believe that there's nothing like change. We want to believe that everything remains the same. And that is why most of us, we come up and write a long article stating their own opinion, the best way to go about this very policy, the best way to make TBC work. That, I mean, please, why don't you allow, or why can't you allow it the way it was in 2016, whereby things were happening the way and nothing is going wrong, nothing was actually going bad, and that's the way it should be, and we'll be happy with that. So what are we saying now? Admin now trying to be practical with us, trying not to fool us, but we are saying, admin, no, we prefer to be fooled and to always believe that things are the way they are, even though it's not taking us anywhere. Is that the best way? I don't believe that. That is the best way. So, admin comes up with better way, better program, better directions. But whenever admin comes up with something like that, we always like to shout admin down, say, no, please. Ah, we, 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 we can teach you better. We know this plan better than you. So why don't you wait? Let us analyze this and tell you the best way to go about it. Folks, this has not been helping us. Let's be sincere with ourselves. This has not been helping us. We've been dragging our feet for three and a half, getting to four years. Mr. Bondas came all the way from nowhere and showed the community, and most of us got him wrong. Most of us started shouting foul that uh, 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 Mr. Bondas is busy castigating the old men, but he's not doing that. Abundance is only trying to see that as huge as something like this TBC that we all are trying to see its stand, that TBC stood its ground and remain what it is. The biggest opportunity. But those of us who want things to remain the way they are, we are busy saying, no, 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 no. That is how it used to be. Hey, we know it this way, allow it that way. But is that taking us to any way? It's not taking us to any place. And that's the reason why people can come up to say all sorts of things, especially to most of us who are open. Okay? Admin is anonymous. You can't even see him. That's the way he's been. But most of us who shows up and say we are the one receiving the the the, the 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 abuses of all forms. The other guy was telling me the other day, said, look at me, you are very foolish. Admin is nowhere to be seen, but you people, you're always coming to show yourself that you know this inside out. I said, it's not that way, rather. We are helping you to see things the way they are. And TBC must have something to prove that, yes, it is working. So, so TBC has to be what it is. And the reason why admin is anonymous is for security reason. And we all know it. One thing that many of us choose to forget today is that if TBC is to crumble, they will never accept the blame. The members will never, oh, no, 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 it's not me or me care. What did I do? I only joined the program and uh, before you know it, it crashed. The crash, who caused the crash? Me and you caused it. Because admin is already taking us to where he has envisioned that this is the best way and the best method to go about it. But we are busy shouting. It shouldn't be that way. So, too many do. I may be speaking their mind by making this very sentence here. Many people, to them, TBC ought to have gone the ways of other opportunities. Uh -uh. For how long now? Over three, TBC, how long are you going to stay? At least let those who have made money go on with the money they made and let those who lost, let it be his business. That's just the way they look at it. But that is a very wrong idea. TBC is not like that. And let me remind us here once again, by not following up with the realities on ground, may I tell you that we might be teaching TBC admin what he has been overlooking. We might be teaching TBC admin what he has been choosing, what he has not really given much attention to. And that is 
By the time we keep on insisting that this must be done this way, that this must, and the admin is struggling to keep it the way it should be, but we are busy shouting, that may likely draw his attention, or that may get him the attention of those who are known for building those programs that doesn't last. Say, look, why can't you come and let us continue on what we used to do? You know this inside out. We just build it and forever. Why? We crash it and again we start another one. And likely, that is what they will be telling admin. Say, do you think you can really handle people? It's not easy. Don't just go and waste your energy. People will never follow you. You may have your best. Let it be to you, to you and you alone. Your best intention. Yes, let it be for you alone. And don't ever try you know, giving it out to people because they, are not, they will not be ready as we are not just ready. <laughs> so folks, let us see what we have. Let us see that TBC, the type has never been. And once we, as we are having this very great opportunity, let us hold it firmly and don't allow it to slip off our fingers or our hands. TBC is for us and as such, we are the ones to build it to the admiration of the non tibetans We are the ones to build TBC, not those who are talking nonsense about TBC. When we stop using TBC as a means or as a cover to scam others, which the admin has actually tried to stop by bringing, coming up with this new policy, when we stop Using TBC as a cover to scam others, TBC will grow faster. Yes, it's going to grow, and we we'll see it. Using the admin credit, what he actually brought up, we already seen the great move that TBC is taking. So, those of us who are still bent on having things the way they were yesterday, let us wake up and follow along and know that the constant thing in life must also be applicable in TBC. That is changes. So we are having positive change in TBC. Let us not remain yesterdays. Okay? Let's stop treating TBC like government-owned properties. Because that's how so many people want it to be. If you cry, let it crash. At least I've made my money. Off I go and I join another opportunity. Bro, this is not just another opportunity. TBC is something great. And when we understand it that way, will be able to stand tall to defend TBC. Call what? Okay? So, registering people into TBC is one good thing, but also teaching them the fundamental is also another good thing. When we work along with the admin proposal, we see that all along what we've been benefiting from TBC is great, and what is yet to come. We're also looking at those people who are not ready to pay their monthly admin fee. Well, who knows if what admin is planning on hand of on how to make TBC more spendable. Look at now you want to purchase an item of let's say 1,000 Naira and a Kringo is how much? Over 3,000 Naira presently. So because we cannot fractionalize it, you just give the person 3,000 for something of 1,000. But these are the things that admin is also planning to have achieved. You want to make TBC more, you want to split it into more smaller units. And all these things cost money. We're talking about moving on to new blockchain that we make our growth faster and have things achieved. But we are not seeing it that way. All we are saying, oh, we want TBC now, we want to spend it, we want to buy the, the world, we want to do this. It is not, let's not allow greed to overtake us. Let us try to follow along and see the better vision, the better thing that admin has in store for us. Okay? $25 admin fee. I mean 25 yes, $25 admin fee. It's not an easy thing. And what is easy in this life? I always I like to ask that question. So if you can tell ourselves the simple truth, friends, let us accept this very lesson that admin is teaching us and join hand together and push TBC to where it's supposed to be. Let us discipline ourselves 
to give TBC and build it by those who are capable. Thank you so much. This is me, your friend, Amici. Bye for now.